This week, we're taking you further into our renovation of our stone house and tiny home on the beautiful hills of central Portugal. In our last video, we finished the ring being of this room and set the gable walls. This is the first stage of our stone house renovation. We also organized a bit of the front area of our abandoned land to make a nice veggie garden. Today, we reinforced the gable walls, we continue with the tiny house extension and also start planting our very first seeds. Monday today, we need some steel rods to make a cage. This is a snorkel. <laughs> After this bit here, there is quite a jump. Unfortunately, I left the side and we didn't film the next bit and got until this point, the reinforced cages. Okay, as you can see up there, we have a gap in the gable wall, which is all block work, and there's a cage coming up through the middle of it. Simon just built that uh, using some rebar and it's all tied in together with the bars that are sticking up from the original ring beam. So now what he's going to do is put in some shuttering and then after the shuttering's in place we'll be able to pour in the concrete on the top and leave that to set and then we'll have a really strong support for the main beam when it comes in next week. That's the idea and uh, that's what's going to happen now. Let's do it. Here's one we did earlier. Make a noise or shall I wait? Okay, so that's got to go in there. Which means we want clampers about there. So here you can see the shuttering is complete and now we're going to start putting the cement oh sorry the concrete inside the hole where the cage of steel is and then we're just going to wait for the beam to come which hopefully should be on Monday. Luna you're naughty. So we just came back from Coimbra and I got myself a little greenhouse. I swear I felt something. <laughs> anyway, I got myself a little greenhouse. I'm just gonna start small, just like this.
we're just trying to get the stones to have a very flat surface on one of the faces and that will be placed like that so here's the block wall and then these will be facing this side so it's nice and flat so you get the flat stones that you can find you can see these it's very ugly Yeah, that I am making this up as I go along. <laughs> Just it, might, us. <laughs> it might not work, <laughs> but it will work. Don't worry, we'll be having somebody checking it later. <laughs> that's what I don't you mean. You actually should do it. With lighting circuits, you can put all the junctions by the switches or by the light switches or even somewhere completely different. And I haven't decided yet, yet where those junctions are going to be. I think they're going to be at the light switch. So that's going to connect, this is the bathroom's electrics which is going to connect to the fridge socket. There we go, that's We also safe. need to change that window over there. I don't think you can see it, oh maybe, oh there you go, it cracked. <laughs> yeah, that was... Because, I mean, it was an experiment that it's pretty obvious once it happens, it's like, okay, well the structure moves if the glass is not within a frame it will crack obviously now we know <laughs> um but live and learn but we have a window like this one over here to go over there we purposely ordered one and we already have it it's in the granny annex but yeah you can't just put glass like that our our neighbor has one like that but the reason why his windows don't crack is because they're not facing the elements like this one is it's no, quite hidden much, much and there are lots one probably about a fourth of that one <laughs> so yeah it's going to be a bit like this one but it won't be able to open will it be able to open no okay that's Fixed. just a frame yeah okay okay um i'm just waiting for the gas man three days he yeah. was supposed to be here so here's a tip if you're planning to move to portugal okay you know how in england everything happens like really quickly it doesn't really happen here and in a way it's like it could be a bad thing it could be a good thing you know like in england everything is just like instant you know probably in the united states as well and a lot of other countries here is a little bit more of a personal approach you know I, we got the contact our contact of the gas man and then you call them and and you, you and I was like, can you please go? And and then he said, okay, I'm gonna go tomorrow morning. And then he come between the afternoon. It's like I'm here, and I'm like, well, I'm not there because now I'm, I was doing something else. I was at my sister's. So, sorry. Ah, well, there you go. The gas man is now around. I'm talking about him. 
<laughs> that's really funny but yeah so I said to him oh I'm really sorry I you know I thought you were coming in the morning why don't you come tomorrow oh yeah don't worry about that I'm like I'm really sorry it's like yeah no it's okay you know I understand like I said I was gonna go in the morning so it's fine everyone's very forgiving so I think you know don't expect things to happen like super quickly like you are used to in the states or in america he he is everything is a lot more relaxed everything is a lot more forgiving but everything is a lot more personal you're gonna know the people here by name you're gonna know the people in the supermarket by name you're gonna know the people that collect the rubbish uh, bins by name you're gonna know everybody so be flexible with people and people will be flexible with you that is my philosophy here and it's really nice it's just chill just people are gonna be like chill them oh time for that <laughs> of an accident yesterday <laughs> the wind came and just blew all my seeds happens <laughs> I was a little bit annoyed but you know I can't do anything about this I'm gonna have to start again a lot of the seeds were quite old so I don't know if they were going to work but that's one thing and um, some of them were moldy anyway but I now have some I think this is French lavender I got some cutting so I'm going to try to get some roots out of this I also have another plant that I need to plant which is this one over here I don't really know the name so I need to find out and I'm going to plant more seeds and I actually got new seeds a while ago and they were from a company really close to here so that's really nice it's a Portuguese company that's like 25 minutes away from here so I'm going to be doing that today and then I'm going to show you all the seeds that I got, which are really cool. Lots of flowers and lots of really nice veggies. I don't know if this is going to work. is that there's a lot of roots in here I don't know if they will do anything to it but hopefully not so an experiment this is year one cut yourself some slack you've never done this before last year doesn't count <laughs> this is why I really like this because I can just go <laughs> and grow myself. starting to germinate like this one here I'm gonna put this one back because this is a cucumber or a melon they look really similar to me so I'm gonna put it on the side luckily I got a bunch of seeds I got a bit of a rampage buying seeds and um, I spent 38 euros 39 euros on seeds the other day <laughs> I went a bit mad crazy but I'll show you very quickly what I've got. Bright light celery, 
that's chard, parsnip, some marsana, tomatoes, black cherries, cayenne, rainbow, mix of carrots, golden bantam, corn, popcorn corn, Victoria rhubarb, red cherry tomatoes, premium tomatoes, flowers, echinacea, basil, leek, spring onions, I can't find spring onions in the shop here, tomatoes, nope, onions and I got a lot of flowers as well. Very excited. I've never tried this. A pot. Today was a really rainy day and Simon just came in for a bit to pour the window lintel. We aren't going to use wood for the lintel as we need a very big piece of wood and we really struggled to find one. The local wood yard couldn't supply such a chunky piece. Then we thought of joining two pieces of wood together but then the joint will show on the other side. We needed to especially request this chunky wood with another wood yard and it would have cost quite a bit of money. So we decided to make it out of concrete and then render it with lime afterwards to make it look more traditional. In time we will be experimenting with pigments to add to the lime and pick the right color to match the house. Hello, I'm Andrea. <laughs> I got this as a present yesterday. It was my birthday. And then they and didn't have... You got a hat that matched the... The, the hat that I, <laughs> that I always wear. And this is supposed to be black, but they didn't have any black, so they chose blue. And then I also got a really nice hat with the same... You know, like a winter hat. Yeah, the resemblance is uncanny. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. It's from our friend Pat. He's very talented. He makes one of these. Oh, I'm looking forward to your birthday. I know, I can't wait to see my one. <laughs> One of them broke, we did have four. One of them uh, cracked. Oh, we need more buckets. Excellent. Do you need more? Try it. Uh, just half in there. Half? Yeah. yeah. watching you looking very well. <laughs> you see the black plastic board that you push cement around with on the top of the tijolo there? That one? Yep. 
That's it. Ah. That's a talosha. Talosha. And, talosha. The and the brick is a tajola. Oh. Almost the same. <laughs> Okay. If I can drop off the wood over there somewhere, is there any way, like in the Odega, that I can bring the wood? Yeah. Maybe we can move stuff out of the way, but we'll put the 5 by 5s here. Yeah. And there I can make bits of a pot now. Well, all of the shuttering has been finished. So tomorrow the idea is to start with the main beam. So there's going to be four people coming tomorrow. The Simon, Josh, Manel and Omar are going to be working on the roof now. So that's going to be starting tomorrow. We got all of the wood today. So we got Rulam for the main beam. And then we got another piece of wood that I'm going to put right here. What's about? Because I can't tell you right now. And then these are the barotish. The barotish is basically the rafters and we're missing more so we have to pick them up later. And so they're all covered because we're expecting rain later today. I need to just cover that a little bit more so it doesn't get damaged. And then we also have a little bit more wood over there for all of the stud work for the tiny house. So there's a lot of work to do, very exciting. Also, that got taken down because it was very weak. The next bit that you're gonna see is going to be the roof. It's gonna be really quick, because there's gonna be four people working on it. And uh, we got Josh, who's a very experienced carpenter. He's been here for years. He speaks perfect Portuguese. Manal, who's Portuguese, Simon and Omar. So that's very exciting. I'm very happy with that. That means that more things are happening a lot quicker. At the moment, priority is quick, you know, like we have to get things done really quickly. We want my mom here by the summer. So um, it's quite a lot to work to do, but that's the idea. So you're going to see a lot of videos where things are happening very quickly, probably. And uh, the last video that you saw um, to now, so much has happened so yeah well i hope you enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed the video and um, we're gonna leave it here so the next video you're gonna see is gonna be the roof and then tiles and then the interior and it's gonna be beautiful it's gonna be a lovely lovely room and we got a nice fine yard here yay <laughs> all righty i wanted to do the drone so you could see the top but it's out of battery and it's gonna rain so hopefully by the end of the video, you could see a little bit of a before and after. Let's try that. <laughs>